Berlin. I should have come here in the early 90s, just after the wall came down, but I didn't. Instead, I was living in Munich, in the south of Germany. Life there was quieter, smaller, and in a way that suited me then. I moved to Berlin just over 10 years ago. I like being here now. The city still holds lots of open endings. And it is the capital, the political heart of this country. Architecturally, you can find real treasures in Berlin. This is one of them, Hansaviertel, a social housing project that was built in 1957. This was my first address in Berlin, the Alva Alto building. We lived on the second floor and my studio was on the sixth. I loved it so much I thought I could stay here forever. The project was conceived right after the war. It was an optimistic and visionary proposition for the future. Some of the best international architects of that time were asked to create new types of social housing. Everything about it, every detail of every building, in fact the entire master plan was designed to enhance the quality of life of people. Even now, 50 years later, you can feel this. It would be true to say that Hansa Viertel was inspirational for my collection for Mutina. DIN stands for Deutsches Institut für Normierung, meaning German Institute for Standardization. In Germany, an A4 sheet of paper is called DIN A4. The DIN collection consists of four different tile sizes following a strictly modular logic. The largest format is a 15 by 15 centimeter square tile. Cutting it in half creates the next smaller size and so on. In Hansaviertel, the design of most of the buildings is based on the idea of modularity. Big boxes that are made up of smaller boxes to enable diversity within a very strict framework. The concept of DIN is like that. The different tile sizes all fit into the same grid and they can be combined to create a variety of geometries, surfaces, patterns. I like to think of a tile as the smallest unit in an architectural grid. The little square inside the box, inside the box. Modularity creates flexibility. There are a lot of different ways to use DIN, from very basic to highly sophisticated. You can pick just one tile size in one finish, or you start combining different sizes in different colors and even vary between matte and glossy finishes. There's a very rational side to the collection. It is almost mathematical. A tile is something totally elementary, like a brick. What is so fascinating is that the little piece of ceramic, when multiplied, becomes a wall or a floor. It turns into architecture. But tiles are not just a material to build space. Tiles give space an identity, an atmosphere. Mutina pushed the industrial production towards an almost artisanal finish to bring out the emotional aspect of the material. Each tile has a great depth and warmth, which is in strong contrast with the hard, rational idea of Dean's modular logic. In the end, I think that adds true magic to the project.